Thank you for watching. My name is Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Governed. Now, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know that I always close every video with the statement that the future belongs to those who show up. In this video, I just want to explain that if you care about changing the future, making a difference where you live, beware whenever somebody tells you a story or gives you some idea that basically makes you not want to be involved or engaged in the political process. Let me give you a couple of examples of what I have seen on just a regular basis traveling around the state for 14 years working with activists as reasons or excuses, I should say, that they use to not be engaged or involved in the political process. I've heard people say that they believe there's some kind of a plan and a group of people are out there doing intelligent, smart planning for liberty and freedom behind the scenes and they're going to ride in on their white horses at some point in time and save the day. That's a lie. Anybody who tells you that is, maybe they think they're telling you the truth, but essentially what they're trying to do is convince you to not engage, to kind of give up, sit back, be a spectator, and just assume somebody else is going to do it for you. They aren't. There's nobody coming in to ride to the rescue. The reality is, if you want to make a difference in your community, your state, or your nation, it requires people like you and I and our neighbors and our community members, no heroes, just regular people, to be engaged and involved to make a difference. No different today than it has been throughout generations in America. The world doesn't just change because there's some special person that comes down and saves a day for you. The reality is most of the time, nearly all the time, it requires just unnamed individuals like you and I to get together and strive to fix things wherever we live. So never believe that there's a secret plan out there that's just gonna save the day. Uh, it requires you to involve, be involved, get engaged, to show up. The other thing that I find um, that activists oftentimes use is the excuse for why they won't engage, this is usually more with Christian activists, is they believe that we're living in end times. The rapture is going to come tomorrow and Jesus is coming to save the day. I have a story about this that I'm, I always try to tell when I, I hear that kind of story as the excuse why somebody's not going to engage and be involved in the political process. And that is that uh, my um, good friend, best fr uh, friend that I had when I was young, uh, he went, to see, went, went over to see his uh, grandmother who lived in Wisconsin. And she was in her late 90s. And she told him that, uh, here she is in her late 90s, she told him that when she was 16, she was certain that she wasn't going to see her 18th birthday because she believed that she lived in end times, Jesus was coming tomorrow, the rapture was going to happen, whatever it was. And this was before World War I. And uh, so she was just, lived her life very paranoid about it and basically refused to engage or be involved in the process much at all because it always seemed like she was just living in this kind of end times paralysis moment. That is also, I think, generally a terrible mistake in a, as far as how you live your life. Um, if you want to make a difference in your community, you can't just presume that somehow the whole world's going to come to an end tomorrow in some apocalyptic or uh, maybe miraculous sort of way. Um, even if that were the case, the reality is if you're familiar with Christian scripture, there's no way anybody actually knows when that day is coming. And I have never found anything in the Bible, and I've challenged many pastors to show me exactly what scripture that they're uh, referencing uh, that tells them that they need to just surrender and give up and not have any involvement. Don't fight in your community to fix things. Uh, the reality is that scripture doesn't actually exist. And that's just a pathetic excuse that people use to avoid being engaged or involved in the process. And finally, I'm just going to close on just another classic thing that I think pops up sometimes. When you hear people tell you stories like there's a secret evil cabal that's uh, doing everything to destroy our future and our life and that they're so all-powerful, all involved, somehow they control every single lever around us and that the world's just full of sheeple and nobody's going to do anything to stop it. That story is being told to you to convince you that the challenges that we face are so big that you shouldn't even get involved. Why bother? Just go down and hide in your bunker and hope you survive. That, again, is another way, I think, that uh, sometimes, by purpose or not, that is used to actually convince people, like you and I, to not engage and be involved. Because, after all, if they we're facing such an evil cabal that's so amazing and so incredible and so tied into everything, how could we make a difference? All of those are lies, or essentially what they make you do is live a lie, which is that you can't make a difference. The reality is you can, but you aren't going to be able to make a difference if all you do is stay at home, 
uh, living in fear, cowering in the corner, hiding in your bunker, um, escaping on television, watching, you know, watching the game, hoping the world's going to be different when it ends. It isn't. And the reality is if you want to make a difference, you have to engage, you have to show up, you have to be involved in some way. Doesn't mean you need to go out and throw your name on the ballot and run for Congress. Some people should do that, but probably most people watching this video, that's not what you should do. I would start local, start small. You want to make a difference, get involved with your neighbors. If you don't know them, get involved, find out who they are. You'll probably find in most cases you have some good neighbors or some good people who live in your community, and you're going to find that you have a common interest. Maybe start a block watch program. Maybe just start to go to your school board meetings or your city council. Find out why you're having such high crime rate in your community or why the sidewalks aren't being fixed or whatever common problem and challenge that you start to face. Once you get involved, I think, with people like that in a small definable, basically it's something you can get your hands around, I think you're going to find that it's more likely that you'll realize that not only can you make a difference, but if you show up, you can make a pretty impactful difference, even more than you realized. I've witnessed it many times. I've seen whole cities change. I've seen counties change. I've seen school districts change. I've seen politicians removed from office. I've seen a lot of these things happen. But I'll tell you what I've never seen is I've never seen them happen without people showing up. So that's why when you hear me say at the end of all my videos that the future does belong to those who show up, it's because I really believe it and I've seen it. And that really applies to not just me and not just that activist that you happen to see speaking at the city council meeting. That applies to you as well. The future does belong to those who show up.